in this section we are going to look at how to add a boundary to the surface to make the surface more accurate to do that i will first turn off the surface style and make set the style to no display to do that i go to here on the prospector to eg surface right click surface properties then I set the style to no display and click OK. Now my surface display will be gone, but, but the surface will be there. So what I now do is I am creating a boundary around these points and add that boundary as a boundary to the surface we created. So to do that, first I will create a boundary around this surface. So I will launch my polyline command PL and press enter so in the meantime i will turn off my object snaps from here so that it will not snap every any time anywhere when i am creating the boundary so now i am on the polyline command so i will create a boundary around this surface that means i am creating a polyline close to the points but outside the points close to the points but outside the points so if you want if you turn off this polar tracking also so now i am going around this corner so make sure all the points are outside inside the boundary so if you accidentally click inside you can press control is it to undo so you will get it back to the original state so you can undo as much as time you want so i am going to go fast so after you come to somewhere here now you have to connect these two to do that you just click close here or press C so I click close here now it will become a polygon right polygon it is a closed polyline or it's a polygon so one thing we need to do at this stage we have to put this into a separate layer so I will create a new layer called surface surface boundary to do that I'll type LA in my command line and press enter to access the layer manager then i will put my cursor on zero layer then press enter i will get a copy of the zero layer now so i will say my layer name is surface boundary then i go to here the color section and change the color to brown here sorry yellow here and press ok and i'll close this palette and i'll click this surface boundary and on the home tab inside these layers i will set my layer as surface boundary here surface boundary now it will become into yellow color so now i am going to add this boundary to my surface before that i will turn on my surface border again so to do that i click this eg right click surface properties then i go to border only and click ok now we can see my surface x current surface boundary is outside my points here so now i am going to add this boundary into this surface so to do that I will expand this definition section and go to boundaries right click and add and it is asking what is your boundary name I will say uh, surface boundary and keeping this everything default I'll click OK otherwise you can change this if you like you can change the mid ordinate distance lower value for the mid-ordinate distance will give you more accurate surface and 
I'll click OK now and it is asking in the command line to select the object which represent the boundary. So my new boundary could, should be this one. So I'll click OK. So I'll select this one. Uh, let us see what is happening to this boundary when I select this one. So I'm clicking here to select this one. So you can see in my boundary shrink into the new boundary. So if the existing boundary is inside my drawn boundary, it will not change. But if the boundary is outside the boundary which I have drawn, so it will shrink into the uh, new boundary. So now we have a more accurate surface. So if you select this surface and go to Object Weaver, now you will see more accurate surface. So again, you will see there's kind of a small section in the middle, like looking like a road, because this is a survey of a road. So you can see in the middle there is a kind of a road here. So you can make it more accurate by adding brake lines to the surface. That is, uh, there is something called brake lines, and if you add brake lines, you can get more accurate surfaces so in the next section we will see how to add brake lines and make the surface more accurate so before that i will uh, hide this boundary uh, since we don't want this at the moment you can't delete delete this polyline so it, if you delete the polyline it will uh, remove the added boundary because your added boundary or the new boundary is related to this polyline so you can't re remove or delete this boundary instead you can freeze this boundary so to freeze this boundary i will go to here surface boundary i'll select the object and go to surface boundary and i click this one to freeze the layer so now it will be hided but the boundary will be still there if you want the boundary back you can go here and Click here to view the boundary again. So, if you don't want it, you can freeze it like earlier. In the next section, we will see how to add the add, add brake lines to the surface.